What up? Alright, I haven't made one in a minute. So let's do it. Uh, it's been an interesting day, and when I say interesting, I mean fuck people. Um, I love people. I I love. Well, yeah, we we ain't gonna go too far down into that rabbit hole yet until I can explain it a little bit more properly. And potentially have more understanding occur without uh, offending or triggering people. But, I mean, I, I, I also don't give a fuck if that happens. It's just, if I can, if I have the means to be able to impart a little bit more clarity, then I would like to do that. But at the same time, people are either gonna get get the shit or they're not, and and that that's not on me. I don't I don't care. As as far as I don't care how people choose to perceive things, because that's that's all on them. I do care. How people choose to act. Uh, especially if they're around me. Because. I'm only going to let shit slide for so long. I'm, I'm going to give. And, and we also got to be clear. Clearer. I work on the inner energetics. And the subtle energy planes so oftentimes I don't need to do things and act out or make it make it blunt for people all I need to do is have my feelings and give it a little bit of time and the energetics will go into play and go into work and eventually people will start to fucking feel and start to correct their behavior because their perception changes they start to be accountable again for their own actions. And they, they start to step up and be responsible for themselves. Which is what this is going to be about here. Uh, the genie is going to talk a little bit about this. He just started talking about uh, people bitching. And I paused it because I got some stuff to say about that. So we'll go ahead and listen and see what spurs the moment here. What he's got to say. And, what... and then what I got to say about what he's got to say. And we'll have some Inception shit going on here. But before that. Uh huh. Let's see. Okay, uh, I ended my fast, was it Friday, Friday night? I was going to kind of do a before and after on that. On the after, I was kind of like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. But I'll go ahead and say, probably was about around, <laughs> uh, that magic number, uh, with the 44s, probably about 144. Give or take. I also I wanted to uh, send out a shout out to the genie and the zen and, and just to everyone, but especially these two guys right now. Um, and just to really express my support for both of these guys, uh, especially the genie. And uh, where he's at right now on his life path, the, the the adventures that he's finding himself in, the the clarity that he's accessing, the distilling that's happening, 
right now. Uh, I just think it's fucking badass that, like I re say repeatedly, just just to be able to witness authentic people, and the fact that he's you know still sharing this whenever you know there's a lot of motherfuckers out here that whenever things whenever things are going good, yeah, they'll, they'll want to share that and everything, but whenever their life goes into upheaval. And they, they don't know what the fuck's going on. Then they just kind of go off the map. But this guy. Uh, he's. He's taking us along for the ride. So that takes some. Uh, cojones. Cojones. To put yourself out there like that. Because ultimately, he, he realizes, like, in in what he's doing and sharing this process, like, it's it's going to... It's going to uplift people and uh, let people be aware that even though you don't know what the fuck's going on in your life, you got this. You still got this. You just got to know it. Let go of that fucking worry bullshit and just go. Go with the flow. So yeah, <laughs> I've just been, and I've just been contemplating about, <laughs> about some of the interactions that I've been hearing uh, between the genie and the Zen, <laughs> and it cracks my shit up because on, on one hand, you know. I'm like, you guys are brothers, you know? You guys are brothers, like, don't be fighting. But on the other hand, it's like, you know, sometimes the sensei has to lay down the stick, you know, lay down the law and let the pupil know where they're at. And that sensei, pupil, sensei, teacher, student role constantly flips back and forth. So I'm not saying either one of these guys are just the sensei just the teacher. No, they're learning from each other. That's the beauty of it. So that being said, we'll get into this. Uh, thank, I thank both of you for being just fucking raw, genuine people. Putting out the good and the bad, showing that you, you have to go into the dirty you got to go into the shadow, into the darkness, if you want to be a light worker. <sighs> no, don't. Free yourself of these terminologies. Uh, they're limiting. Move beyond them by going within. Distill. The knowledge, the distillation process, the discernment process. All right, yeah, I better turn this shit up. People, once again, people love to bitch. People love to be trapped. Why? So they can talk about it. And what is that? That's that's making excuses. People love making excuses for why, because when you're making excuses, here's the ultimate truth about excuses. Okay, and, and, and in the genie fashion, I'm going to try to cut this off as many times as I can to interject, because usually I just let things run through, because that's, that's kind of my nature. I let people just be themselves until they come to their own little realizations within uh, the presence of awareness. That's right. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, people like the bitch, and what's happening here with this bitching is a deflection.
this is why I've always had a problem with uh, people whenever they come at me and oh they were just venting or oh I'm just venting it's like bitch listen the person you're venting on they didn't ask for that fucking garbage a fucking verbal diarrhea you're pouring on to them no one asked for that you call it venting I call it subjecting your the people around you to your ignorance and so this is what I wanted to get at here. People love to bitch because this is part of the parasite within. To complain. Because in doing this, whatever you entertain your mind with, that is what you're going to create. So in that bitching process, you're creating your own problems continuously, on loop, repeat. <laughs> And whenever you're venting, you're projecting that reality and creating more of it. And not only that, you're, you're doing that for all those other people that are around you witnessing your venting. Now, I understand the purpose. Some people just got to get shit off the chest and whatnot. And all right, man, I, I understand that. I've been there. After I was able to kind of understand what this venting shit was really about and releasing things, so this is this is the essence of it: releasing. Whenever you're bitching, you're not releasing things; you're holding on. You're 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 fucking squeezing on to that bullshit and holding on to it, and then just bitching about it. But you're not releasing it. You're not venting. You're not releasing. And even releasing it, like that that's not gonna mean fucking shit. Unless unless you go through an understanding process. You have to alchemize your reality and what you're going through. Understand why you're going through it. Why you are choosing to repeat these things. And oftentimes it's because you're not making a choice you're going along with the bullshit programs that have been set up for you you see how this works stop bitching start cleaning up your own fucking inner house continue okay maybe i'll call that the uh, the ultimate truth about excuses or, or just the truth what I, excuses 101 or something i don't know the thing about excuses is that what you're doing is you're excuse. Well, for, first of all, you're excusing yourself, which is uh, you're excusing yourself for not doing what is necessary at the at the time, at that moment. And remember, it's all it, 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 a moment's a moment. We can't we we can keep track of moments in a certain way, but the moment is the moment. So there ain't no reason to be fucking. You know, it's cool to go back and shit like that, but like that shit comes and goes. It is what it is. A lot of people are holding on to prior moments, to yep. past times. They live in past tense. The language is set up we like speak that as well. In past. A lot of people realize that we speak <laughs> in past tense. And when somebody does speak in present tense, it's almost, it's, it's very intense. It's almost weird. Intense. <laughs> and you actually, in those moments, see a lot of the people that speak in what's not even a lot, anybody who speaks present tense is going to sound a little bit ridiculous and they're probably going to bend words around and they're going to fuck shit up and, you know, whatever. And, and they're going to be very... Um, it's a different kind of flow. It's that word. They'll be very eccentric. These are eccentric people. These are... Electric. Uh, you know, whoever. And it might go all over the fucking place with shit. But the thing is... If you actually pay attention, which I hope you guys are doing, it's, it's, it doesn't really matter. But I'm saying, anybody who is listening, I really hope you're paying attention because otherwise you're going to miss a lot of shit. And either I'm, A, I'm going to piss you off, or B, you're just going to waste a lot of time on my channel. I don't know. <laughs> but a lot of people do not, people are not speaking present. They're not really present. Their mind is in several different places at once with, instead of being in one place at one time. Um, and this is, a, I mean, I'm not saying that you can never be, you know, in multiple places. Like, 
because you always are. You're omnipresent, whether you like it or not. Yes. But once again, the key is, are you aware of the processes? Are you aware of what's going on here? This is the first step here. And then Awaken Brave has also been uh, releasing some of these videos about, you know, what does it mean to be woke, awoken, or interviewing people about that. And I would agree that the first step is allowance. And that can kind of take the, a different form for different people. One person can see that as maybe listening. Another, maybe accepting things in. Really, it's just getting clear. The first step is clarity. Clarity moving towards purity. This is going to be quite the process. But if you're not focused on yourself and the task at hand, you're not accomplishing anything and you're not helping anybody. And you got to understand that when it comes to helping people, sometimes helping people means hurting them, unfortunately. Well, this is the thing about help. You know, you have to realize, are, are you really helping that person or are you just tr making yourself feel good? Because most of these motherfuckers out here who aren't real motherfuckers, they quote unquote help people and these, these people fucking piss me off. They help people to make themselves feel good. Of course, they aren't, aren't, aren't aware of what's going on because if they were gonna, if they would choose to be aware of it, then they would have to choose to be responsible for that. And, and, if, and if they would have to do that, then they would have to face the music of what they've created. And that's going to be too painful for them. Nah, nah, it's too fucking painful. I might as well just make myself feel good about helping someone. And, and not even, not even uh, going back to make sure or, or doing any kind of deeper work to see the effects of that help. If that was actually helping or if that was just masking the main issue, which is usually the case with this quote unquote help that we uh, have nowadays. You want to help someone or help yourself? Get clear. Allow for clarity. Do the inner work. Do, do the deep work. It, it's fucking painful, but you've got to do it to get clear. You've got to clear out that house. And once you do that, then you can begin to spread that awareness of clarity with others and allow them to have the option of seeing something with clarity and helping themselves. This is what true help is. Helping someone to help themselves. Otherwise, you're just, you're just dancing around on the surface and playing games. But that's because, but, and the severity of that will depend on how long you want to keep making excuses for yourself. Because making an excuse is just saying, well, I, you know, because really when it comes down to it, let's be honest. You fucking hate your job, you hate your life, you hate where you're living, you hate it, leave. I understand this is an out of touch thing to say, but I'm dead at it. leave. What are you going to lose? What, what the fuck are you going to, you're going to lose everything that you didn't want in the motherfucking first place. Bam. And you, there might be some other shit that you thought you wanted that you didn't even fucking... That you didn't even know that you really didn't want until it's gone. You're like, oh shit, man. When I put it in perspective, that shit was. That shit. And this is part of 
cleaning house process. You you can you can go about it both ways. You can just say, okay, I've had enough of this. Fuck it. I'm stopping everything. I'm quitting everything. And then you give yourself that time and space to actually do that inner work. Or you can do the inner work first, and then everything else, supposedly on the outside, will transform to match that inner awareness, the new inner depth that you have reached. So whichever path you choose there, it's the same outcome. And that is clearing away the bullshit and the garbage. Choosing to let go of the things that have, have binded you for so long to ignorance, to being complacent. To convincing yourself that it's okay to be stuck in this loop program. Because it's comfortable there. It's not as painful. You might as well be a fucking numbed up drug addict. Because essentially it's all the same thing. In, in truth, there's only one drug here, and that's you. You are the drug. And if you take things on the outside to help remind you of what's on the inside, that's, that's all they are. It's, it's reminding you of your power. That's it. And so whenever you experience these things, it's up to you. If you're going to step up, take responsibility, realize what these things are telling you, like, okay, and decide, okay, I'm going to start making the choices, putting forth the effort, so I understand more about my chemical makeup, my alchemical makeup, creating your own philosopher's stone within you, within the mind. Or are you going to sink back into ignorance? In that comfortable mode where it's less painful? Where you don't really have to think all that much anymore? Hey, it's what everyone else is doing. Why not rely on other people? On uh, all these other programs and constructs that have been put into place that take care of us. Oh, they're taking care of your ass, all right. They're taking care of your ass. Yes, we never die, but. It's it's quite the shame to see all these people waste the opportunities that they have been given whenever they are embodied. You have been given the opportunity to play with the most, the highest technology that has ever been created. And you're wasting it away. You've given up the power. By allowing other things to. Help you out. You have no idea just how special you are. Just. And yes, I say you, and I'm talking about you as in the soul, the spirit, which is all of us. Because there's really only one of us here. But I'm also talk about, talking about the individuated body, the specific makeup that you have inhabited and are constantly creating 
within. You're constantly creating what your body is. So why not make it into something amazing? And this is also going to be a, uh, it already is, a crossroads between doing this in a natural sense and taking the transhumanism route to achieving that but that's going to be that that has a cap to it all these uh modified or stimulated or augmented or enhanced forms of reality have uh, very defining caps, capstones placed upon them for, for a reason, because it's all a control structure, it's all a control system here. So breaking free of these programs is goes right along with <laughs> bitching and you'll, you'll quickly realize the more and more you face the stuff inside that if you do get caught back up in into the bullshit into the bitch mode or the vent mode you will quickly realize yo what the fuck am I really bitching about here what what is this accomplishing? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's let's take two steps back here, and really look at what's going on. Let's look at the reality of the situation from a popped out, more a more objective popped out. You gotta, whenever you're that fucking dug in where you feel agitated you gotta pop yourself out of that and try to see things from a from a perspective that you're not attached to any outcome or any occurrence you're just witnessing And once you get clear, once that clarity happens, then there's no reason to really bitch anymore. And if you're still bitching, then you got some clearing to do. So yeah, that'll be about it for now. So yeah, let's say, uh, get clear, don't bitch, 2019.